Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Today we're back on Ardwick Junction where things are going good. The uh, the, the cash situation is fairly stable. We're making a little bit of money. Uh, we've made money for the past few years, which is good, good, good. We've got our lovely animals in the middle here uh, that are doing well. And the sable antelope down on the end, they seem vaguely happy. Nutrition is good. The last meal quality could be better. So what we'll do is uh, we shall go on the meals, there we go, and put their food quality up. So that is actually going to cost us more, which is a bit of a worry, but never mind. It's fine. We can, uh, we can, we can, well, absorb those costs, I'm sure. We want to look after our animals. Uh, let's also have a look in the middle here. Uh, first of all, we'll, we'll just nip onto the zoo research tab, which is not there. Uh, that will be the heat map. Uh, vet research. There you go. So we've got the maximum amount of sable antelopage, uh, the death adder, the boa constrictor, the centipede. Uh, we're just researching the green iguana. So we'll just make sure that we've got uh, the basking lamps in there. Make sure that that's as happy as it can be. We need to unlock uh, the extra bits for the iguana, but we can put everything in here if we haven't already. We've done that one and we've done that one. So those should be really, really happy actually. Uh, oh, we've unlocked a bit more Right, have we unlocked more for the green iguana? No. Right, we need to carry on researching that. So, uh, yeah, things are actually pretty good. Money's still going up, like I say, so that's awesome. Uh, the antelopes are happy. And if we have a look on the zoo overview, uh, yeah, marketing is zero, of course. Education rating is not very, um, not very high. Conservation rating, again, not very high. But I'm, I'm guessing that that's probably due to the fact that the zoo's not very big. I'd imagine. Oh, what's what's this? What is it? What's what's that? What what's that? Are you actually meaning to tell me? I, I think that might be a bug. The the ball from the antelope. The antelope has hit it that hard. It went sailing all the way over there. I don't think that that happened. You know, I think that might be a bug. There you go. That that's sort of more the speed I was expecting him to hit it with. And are you happy? Let's let's have a look. So you're uh, yeah, all good. Everything's in the green. I'm not really reading any of what it says. Uh, oh wow. Okay, current mate is expecting offspring. That's good. That is excellent news. Let's also just look in exhibit trading. We've got nothing from the uh, the four booths to sell, and uh, we'll just do a quick check on our staff. Looking good. Looking good. Indeed, vendors are all good, caretakers are good, security guards you could do with being trained. We'll, we'll train all of them. Mechanics, uh, keepers. What we've got to remember as well is we only have one keeper. Oh, we've unlocked some more mechanic stuff. New barriers, yeah. So we need new barriers because obviously I don't think it bothers the antelopes so much, but some of the animals don't like the glass. So we, we, we want to ideal it. What on earth's going on here? I, I, <laughs> Dread to think. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, if you want to mount something, go over there. Don't mount the water tap, for goodness sake. That's just unhygienic, if nothing else. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> for crying out loud. Yeah, some of the animals get quite shy. They don't want all these ugly people gawping in at them. I mean, would you? Do you know? Yeah, they're an ugly bunch, aren't they? Uh, yeah, so they, they don't like them gawping in. So we ideally, we want to research that. Uh, they're low on cash, that's not good. How is the loan situation looking? I think we've got... Uh, we have a loan going out. Can we can we pay less of that a month? No. Mmm. Saucy. Right. What we'll do is we'll go with a bit more path. Yeah? Feeling path? There we go. So we could, we could actually, if we keep it at 8 metres... We'll bring it down here. Okay, yep, that is a path. So let's have a look and see what the uh, what what we've got. What what are the sable antelope like? Where are they from? Let's have a nosy. Uh, sable antelope. Hip Hippotragus niger. Yes, from the southeastern Africa. Right, there's a there we go. So that's. That's on there. Right, let's have a look and see if we can buy some other sort of animal that is from that area. Uh, Siberian tiger and snow leopards probably wouldn't be the ideal choice in this instance. Kangaroos, polar bears. Uh, right, okay. King penguins. I like king penguins. 
but I don't think king penguins are native to southeastern Africa. What have we got? What's a doll sheep? Doll sheep? Doll sheep. Oh, an ostrich. Where are they from? Zoopedia. Ah, that's clever. Right, okay. Natural habitat. The general Africa area. Right, okay. Grassland and desert biome. I say the general Africa area, of course, because you've got this band across the middle here, and then obviously down in the south. So yeah, I think, should we, should we get some ostriches? They're, they're fairly cheap, I think. Common ostrich. I mean, it's called the common ostrich, for goodness sake. So, yeah. Uh, right, what's the best ostrich to buy? So your appeal is higher, but then you've got the... I, I really don't understand how it works. So the, he's got a bronze ribbon and he's got a silver ribbon so surely the silver must be better but the number is lower it costs more right okay that's a better one so we'll go with that one aha right send to the zoo and we'll pop him in the quarantine centre. I've actually become really lazy uh, with this recently. And have not been quarantining animals on the career parks. I've not been doing it. I've just been banging them in any old owl. Because we've got vets. They can, you know, if they all get ill, we can we can sort that. And that's not the right way to do it, is it, really? Uh, right, okay. Let's have a look at what the ostriches actually need. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So we need grade 2. Higher than 1.25 metres. Okay. We could have we could have that, couldn't we? Climbable. I don't think ostriches can climb. I'm hoping ostriches cannot climb. So what we'll do is we'll we'll sort of build this down here. Hmm. Right, we'll have a bit of five there. Yeah, just sort of go around the corner a little bit. And then back up to twenty meters. Goodness mate, that is a large ostrich enclosure. Well, they, they like to run around, don't they? So, you know, it would make sense. Right, there we go. And, of course, with us using the mesh fence, like we are using here, it means that, uh, that obviously, it's viewable. There's really, really great views of the animals. We'll put a habitat gate in at the side here. There we go, so our keepers can get in and out. Have we unlocked another ostrich yet? I'd, I'd quite like a... Uh, are they in alphabetical order now? Yeah, they are, right. Common ostrich. Hmm. Yeah, so you see, there's males, and that is fine. That is absolutely fine. I don't mind uh, having a male ostrich, but unfortunately, if there's no females, they're not going to breed, are they? And that's what we ideally want. Right, the green iguana is done. Let's, uh, let's get some research for the ostrich, can we? No. Quarantine passed. Right, okay. Chinzira, the ostrich. Right, we'll, uh, we'll we'll get the ostrich in there quick sticks. Because the sooner we get the ostrich in, the sooner we can start doing research. Do, does nobody talk to each other in this zoo? Has, you know, has, has nobody from the quarantine centre thought to message the vets and be like, Hey, vets, there's an ostrich here. You might want to start doing some research. No, nope, absolutely not. Of course not. Nobody talks to each other, do they? Um... Right, okay, power. We could do with some more power, couldn't we? Oh dear, yeah. Right, okay. Facilities. Uh, utilities, transformer. Right, what we'll do is we will have that there. Can I afford it? Yeah, I can, 500. You just can't be too close to the ostriches, that's fine. I get that. There we go, we'll just bung it there. And then what we'll do is we'll pop a staff path in. But just a little one. Right, the ostrich is in. So we'll get some uh, we'll get some research going. There we go, where's the ostrich? Common ostrich, there we go. Get researching. Oh, the antelope. Sable antelope is about to have some offspring. Right, okay, so you're miserable, aren't you? Of course you're miserable. The environment is terrible. You've got lots of runnable space, so that's good. You just need me to do some terraining. Terraforming. Terraining. Terraining. Right, a bit of grass. Let's have some some nice short grass. Yeah, you you just keep ostriching away there, friend. 
bit of soil. Let's have the soil around the front there. Doesn't look the best, having the soil around the front, but it's fine. Gives them a nice varied view, doesn't it? What we will do as well is I'll just tidy that up a little bit. I've never been massive on the presentation of games like this. I've normally been more functional than making it look pretty, but... Uh, right, Africa, grassland and desert. I didn't realise you could actually just click on there. Rather than fiddling about with all this, you can just click those. It's so much easier. Let's have a, a tree in. What else? Some nettles. Might have to do this when... Uh, ooh, what's that? That's nice. Nice Acia tree. Oh, two. We'll treat ourselves to a few Acia trees there. Look at that. That's, that's nice. There are too many trees now. You idiot. Right, well, we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that one as well. Is, is that better? Are you happier now? Nope, still too many trees. I don't like that many trees, do you? I thought you'd be happier. Miserable bird. Um, right, okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. So, we'll go into habitat. And let's have a look. Species, common ostrich. Let's make sure that we've got some, uh, some food. I reckon everyone will want to see them eating. And we will put some water over here so they can drink. Beds and shelters. Doesn't seem to need a bed. Hard shelter is 100%, so that's fine. And, uh, right, okay. The, the herby scented marker thing. There we go. We'll pop a few in. So the enrichment isn't the best. It's not the best, but we're going we're gonna to keep researching. We're going to keep doing research. He's happy. Seems happy enough. There's not a lot to do here. How do you mean there's not a lot to do here? Right, hang on. Uh, facilita uh, facilities? Facilibobs? Oh, we're in minus money, for goodness sake. Yeah, uh, can we can we get donating, guys? No, but uh, put some money in the pot. Pot's looking very empty. Oh, no, it's not. It's got one and a half grand in. Okay, don't want to shout that too loud. People might put the rand in. Somebody's shouting. D did we hire a, um, not an entertainer, an educator? No, we didn't. Oh, I thought that it would be an educator that was shouting. Hmm. Audio guides available through information centres. That might be worth exploiting. I mean exploring, sorry. Definitely exploring. We'll get the mechanic to have a look at that. Because the, the glass is about to smash. Flipping it, that's not good. In fact, I would say that had smashed. If my car windscreen looked like that, I would have already said that had smashed. So yeah, let's uh, let's get that. Let's get that looked at, please. He's running. He's running. He's running like he's taking something, but he's running, so that's good. Right, finance management. Ooh. See, I don't want to take any more. Right, let's see. Can we can we give the staff a fifty pound pay cut just to keep us afloat? I hate doing that because I've I've always been an advocate that you should treat your staff really well and then you'll have good staff. But the fact of the matter is we're, we're in the negative. Let's give them all another £50 pay cut. I'm sorry, guys. I promise as soon as I've got more money, I'll make it up to you. We're, we're just hemorrhaging money. Look at that. Why is this happening? Are you... Does it cost to research? Like, does does it cost? I don't know. But it might do, because the money's going up all of a sudden now. Oh, and it's going back down again. It's sort of fluctuating. Right, you. Stop researching that ostrich. For the time being, just stop researching the ostrich. I just needed an information board to teach them about the ostrich. But we're making money. I mean, all the staff are furious. Look at that, they're all, they're, they're all really happy. Deluded nitwit. Right, there we go. We, we might have just rescued this. Right, there we go. We'll have you there. 
have another board there. Look at that. There we go. Let's have a speaker. Speakers are £100. Let's not have a speaker. Common ostrich. There we go. Oh, the inspector has arrived. Well, the good news is, is that the uh, uneducated masses are... Uh, oh, no, we can't afford it. We nearly could. There we go. 100. Let's put another another one there. Just just there. That'll do. I could really do with like hiding it a little bit better, couldn't I? I'm just bunging the speakers underneath the uh, the the doodars. Come on. Let's let's it's nearly there. No, it's not, is it? Oh, that would be conflicting. Right, okay. What we'll do is we'll we'll leave it on 10. We'll just move it. There we go. We'll, we'll move that as well. There we go. Lovely. Oh, hang on. There. Uh, beautiful. Listen to the ostrich. What are they all thinking about the ostrich? The enrichment is low. Okay. Yeah. It's, it is. There's no two ways about it. We'll try researching the ostrich again now. The gulpy is in high demand. Can we maybe put the price up on that? Gulpy soda. Oh, we can't, can we? We'll, we'll leave it at £5. Come on, be educated. I need to get, um... I need to get another flipping speaker, do I? The inspector's not going to take long. Oh, what's this? Oh, we can claim a reward. Wow, we've claimed some money. That's good. We did the ta the, the, the challenge? The task? The challenge? We did it. I can't click the speaker. There it is. Duplicate the speaker. Pop it down here. Why is it floating? I don't want it floating. Get rid. There we go. Just sink it down to the ground. Sink down to my level. There we go. Right, so we need to increase the Amazonian giant centipede education rating to 4%. Why is it so low? We need to increase the reputation. That's nearly there, so that's good. We're really struggling for the old Johnny Cashingtons at the moment, aren't we? And then what we'll do is we'll go on, uh, we'll go on facilities. And uh, I think a bin is required, a recycling bin as well, because, you know, we are awesome. I need a, a, a money bin for everyone's money. There we go. Any money you don't need, just pop it in the bin. Just this, this bin here. Lovely. See, their, their habitat looks really bare. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, the ostrich. Right, have we got... Uh... Ah, we've got more toys. Small ball. Stick a pumpkin over there, small ball there, and an ice enrichment ball. Lovely. What about some food enrichment? No. Okay, are you happy enough? We've got 50%. Mmm, so that's good. We've got a lot of enrichment, more than he knows what to do with. But we just need some food enrichment, and that's going to come as soon as we've, uh, we've researched it. See, I want to get away without that loan. Because that's, what, three grand a month? How often is that? You, you don't really know. Is it three grand a year? I don't really say. <laughs> oh, yearly cost. Right, yeah. Three grand a year. We could do with that in our back pocket, really, couldn't we? So if we can survive until we've paid the loan back, then we'll be laughing. You see, that money's sort of... Oh, the boa constrictors had offspring. That would be brilliant. Can we sell it? That's awful, isn't it? Can we sell this child? This... Righty-o. Oh, quick trade. Two grand. Look at that. Oh, we're rolling in the money. Now, let's buy a lady ostrich. Have we got a lady ostrich? We do. Hello to you, lady ostrich. Right, we'll put you in the quarantine. Because, you know, we'll, we'll do things properly. Oh, 
I want cash, yeah. Is there a way that you can see, like, what you need to do to improve? So finances is alright, that's fine. But we did get a bit of prize money, so that's sort of cheating. But, uh, yeah, zoo reputation is two. See, what if you don't want to do marketing? I, I literally never do marketing. Ever. I never do it on Planet Coaster. I never do it on this. I just... I don't really see the point in it. People will come. News will get round. We need better conservation rating. We need better guest education rating. That's letting us down. What we'll do... Is we're going to move this here. Yeah, you see, you like that. We'll move that there. And then can we have, if I go into facilities, an information kiosk? Ah -ha -ha. Look at that. Let's have an information kiosk. You do not have enough money for this information kiosk. That is heartbreaking. We do now. Right. What's the... Uh, what have we got? So we've got the audio guide, £2.50. Adoption pack. Oh, you can sell all these goofy little things as well. That's good. Right, let's uh, let's get that. Mm, can't train the staff member, that's a, a pain. But hopefully he'll, you know, hopefully he'll make some money. He is making money. Profit this period, £57.50. This was a brilliant purchase. Right, the quarantine is passed, so uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Kiruka. I think it's a silent N, isn't it? Let's get Kiruka over there, because the sooner Kiruka is hatching eggs, uh, the better. Look at that. This is uh, this is doing good. 364 quid. This is also making profit. Chief Beef is making a lot of profit. The information kiosk is doing really well. Look at that. That's nuts. We could do with getting uh, Mr. Alvin a little bit more trained up, couldn't we? Because he's a little bit terrible. Come on, 30 quid. I can afford 30 pounds. Maybe I can't. Oh no, the welfare is low. Why is Keeper requesting? Go and do it now. Why is it low? Your welfare is brilliant. What are you on about? Hmm. It does make me wonder that the green iguana does keep getting like that that message that it's poor, um, not poor reliability. That's that's no. It's um, <laughs> see the last meal quality is not brilliant on the ostriches. We'll, uh, we'll we'll make it better soon, Mr. Ostrich. I promise. We just need to research what you like to eat. We've got this thing called a zoopedia, the zoopedia up here, which is full of information about you. Yeah, for some reason we have to research you. We don't know anything, even though we've got the, uh, yeah, even though we've got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Like, I get sort of researching on Planet Coaster. I get that. It's just, well, I get researching on this up to a point. I wonder if we can, uh, we can put some food in now. Food research. Forage box, right, okay, so we want a forage box, obviously. What can they do in a forage box, I hear you ask? They can forage? Oh, we're at the minus 200, come on, we are so nearly there. We're in the, yay, we've actually got some money, that's good news. Good news indeed. <laughs> well, hey, right, let's get the forage box in the middle. No, insufficient funds. Curse you, insufficient funds. Uh, we'll have a slow feeder over here as well. There we go. Right, are you going to cheer up now? Yes, 14 out of 6. Put the forage box there so that everyone could see them foraging. Because, you know, that's nice. What's going on here? Oh, we're sitting down. Okay. 
What have we got? The zoo reputation, claim two grand. Look at that. Now the education needs to be going up. The Amazonian giant centipede. Education rating. Well, where is that? Is that in here? Death adder, iguana, boa constrictor, giant centipede. You see, what I don't get is how we educate people. Like, how do you do that? What about if we put more than one in? Because centipedes are only quite small, aren't they? So we'll, uh, I don't imagine... Uh, exhibit trading. Right, let's have both of them. Amazonian giant centipede in there. There we go. Ah, we've got four of them now. Because that one is an elderly centipede. You know, and, and we don't want them all to die. Because if they all die, we'll have no exhibit. What's that noise? Lord only knows. Right, ostriches. I mean, I'm not being funny, but I, I could really do with you sort of making an egg. <laughs> Running out of zoo funds. Right, let's uh, let's just nip to this chap and actually teach him how to do his job now, because, you know, that's that's what we want. What I might do is hire another keeper. Just because his workload is not great. Okay, where are we? Uh, unselect that. Keeper. Let's have another keeper. Uh, yeah, okay. Train, train, train. We cannot train him yet. Right, okay. There we go. Right, train that keeper. And again, you need to be trained on the 6th of April. Well, this is actually selling loads. It's selling a ton, look at that. Nearly a grand this period of profit. Everything's too expensive. An audio guide is £1.75 profit. £2.50. That's literally nothing. And think of how well educated you'll be. Mm, look at that. She's here. We're getting an inspection. It's Edna Mode. Okay, Habitat 1, 5 star. That's awesome. Still researching the ostrich. Let's, uh... So I wanted a picture of her. For the thumbnail. I don't think she's going to like this inhabit inhabitant. This habitat. Oh, she did. Five stars. Look at that. Yeah, you're, you're sort of all in the way of the photo now. Right, where are we? There we go, we'll have a, uh, have a photo of her. There we go. She doesn't know that we've taken a photo of her. That's the beauty of CCTV, isn't it? You can... Uh... Oh, wow, the ostrich has had offspring. There's little ostriches! Oh, look at that! And it's running around like... It just looks like a rotisserie chicken's escapes, doesn't it? And it's legging it around the kitchen. Hello, little ostrich. Oh, they are very sweet, aren't they? And massive when you're down here. They are huge birds, aren't they? That's really, really sweet. Oh, I'm really, do you know what, I'm really, like, quite touched by that. Have we had any kids? Okay, you seem actually quite happy over here, don't you? Hard shelter, right, we need a bit more shelter. So what we'll do is we'll duplicate that, put it around there, just to make sure that you're happy enough. Although not right in front of the door. There we go, how are we, uh, how are we doing with that? Yep, perfectly happy. It's actually quite good. Let's have a look at the report. Education, you're still, still poor. Never mind, never mind. I'm not really that bothered about the poor education rate. We've got all the things in that we should have. I think the only thing we could really do to improve the education is get more animals in. Because, um, again, there's not really a lot here. The ostrich enclosure is so bare. I feel like we should have like some long grass. We should have a few plants in, but it got a little bit cross with us. When, uh, tell you what, let's put that meal quality up. I did say, didn't I? Grade 3. There we go. We'll have the best food for our animals. You know, because 
We want to look after them. I'm not so bothered about the guests. Couldn't give two hoots about them, but we'll look after the animals. Right, well, that is where we're going to leave it for today. I really do hope you've enjoyed that. Two habitat animals in now, so hopefully that money's going to start to go up and up and up. If you've got any suggestions for the zoo, please do let me know in the comments section below. I'm a novice at this and could do with all the help uh, that I can get. Please do also consider subscribing uh, if you haven't yet, if you're enjoying the series, so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And if you've got a minute, just sling a like this way. Helps out. Cheers for that. I appreciate it. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now. <laughs>